Hello, welcome. Welcome to a first look at Grounded. Not a Stadia title, I hasten to add. In fact, very much an Xbox-funded Xbox game. But nonetheless, great-looking game. I played uh, the demo version of this a month or so ago and thought I'd buy this. Didn't have to. Turns out it's free with Game Pass, which I have on the PC. So let's go for it. Um, I'm going to be doing single player. There is a multiplayer camp at co-op, I think. Um, I don't think you play against other people, but certainly I think you can have up to four people in your... Uh, oh, that's interesting. It says continue. I don't want to continue. I'm going to start from the beginning. I'm just wondering whether it's continue from where I was in my demo. But I didn't get to uh, play... Hey, Holtz! Whoop, whoop! How's it going, my friends? So, yeah, let's have a quick look. So we're just going to a little test, a little play of Grounded here. We're doing 4K 30. I just did some tests, 4K 60. The broadband, more than happy with it, but my PC was grinding, so I've ground it back down to 30, which I'm happy with. Um, from the start, so this is essentially an Xbox-funded game, but it's available on PC as well, which is how I'm playing it, on PC Game Pass. Um... First thing we need to do, notice the little logo. Hang on, where is it? There it is, look at that rock. 4K gaming, woohoo, why not? Uh, we'll give it a go, see how we go, shall we? So uh, let me see, mode selector. Uh, I'll go with medium, moderate stress level. Uh, I think I'm gonna choose hey, this nice dude. To meet you. Yeah, and you bro, Bachi. Now that I've heard Next you speak, small. what's Pete like? <laughs> Pete's looking a little bit, uh, oh no, don't choose me. Poor little Pete, look at him. Do you know what? I'm going to choose Pete because I feel sorry for him. He's someone that uh, he was never he was never first voted on the football team, was he? Poor old Pete, he was always the goalie. Right, let's have a start. So this is, um, I don't know if you know this game at all. It's, I played a demo of it about a month ago. And uh, you are shrunken down into the garden of your ha uh, friend, of your house, I believe it is. I didn't, didn't actually have any backstory uh, in the demo. You just kind of were there, uh, and you got to mosey around. But, uh, yep, so we start from the same place. Okay. Oh, Pete. Look around and see what you can like find. I haven't changed any of the settings. Where in the world are you? Uh, in fact, I ought to have a quick look at the settings and see what the um, what the setup for on the old vid. <clears throat> Where are we? Display. So it's gone for a dodgy resolution. I don't know what the heck that's all about. Let's get it right up to 4K. Quality high, frame rate will limit uh, V-Sync on. I think we'll leave everything else as it is. So we'll go with that. Wobble you to apply. Close should be fine. Yeah, there you go. It's much happier. Didn't like that last setting. Remember your scout training. Right, Step so we're now true 4K. And... I think it's all coming through fine. That's what I love. I just love the idea of being titchy. And they put so much thought into it as well. Um, obviously your... Yeah, all the grass and stuff are like trees and things. Control to crouch. Oh yeah, my settings. I've <laughs> because I use an Apple keyboard. When it says control, it usually means Alt in my case. Yeah, very much like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Um, that's the kind of usual. Right, so we've got. Well, nothing logic here to that there are analyze. Yeah, that's that you tends uh, holds. That tends to be the. Um, some yeah, Kelly, I have to just tell you, uh, and that's fair that you ask as well, that uh, I did elect to have the spiders. So if you are in any way an arachnophobe, like my daughter is, then uh, you you may not want to watch this. I'm just going to give you fair warning. Um, so you collect these little rocks. So the idea is you kind of... It's a bit of a survival game, but you can... <clears throat> oh, there's an ant. And I found out ants are actually quite friendly in, when I was playing the demo. I think you can actually use them later. It's like your mates. Uh, what we've got here, plant fibre, new crafting ideas, a fibre bandage. 
Yes, let's let's build a fiber bandage. That's going to come in handy. I would have thought. So where do we build our craft? Here we go. Craft a fiber bandage. No, I need a, need a few more plants for that. I think it's this kind of game. You know, it's a, a find stuff, craft it, and then um, oh, here you go. Space to craft. Am I allowed to craft it? No, I haven't got enough bits and pieces. Uh, and then obviously use it through the game. You can use these little um, tiny, tiny pebbles against insects. But as I said, I would warn against just going around killing insects because um, I didn't get that far in the uh, the demo. But my guess is, is you'll kind of want to need them. They're going to become friends over time. Tell me how this is looking, by the way, guys. Obviously, this is um, a 4K stream. So I'm keen to get your thoughts. If I'm sounding okay, if it's looking all right. We've got Gen X tonight, Generation X Retro Gaming Club. Uh, I know Clive is actually playing this as well at the moment, but he's playing it on Xbox, and we said we would do a kind of review and a comparison later, see what we both thought of it. So you have to go and explore. Um, there is, as you can see on the left-hand side there, uh, you've got a meter. One shows that you need a bit of grub. One shows you need some fluid. Um, also, the from memory, the um, look at, there's a house up there. Let you see it off in the distance, all blurry. Brilliant. You uh, there's a there's a there's a, a day night cycle as well. So you kind of don't want to be hanging about at night. You need to find some shelter. One of the first things that you need to do, I think, is find some shelter. Ark for the younger generation. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Daz. I tried Ark. I didn't like it graphically. Didn't I don't. There's something about those kind of games. Here we go. Well, this is a. I think this is like a rake or something that, like, has been left in the garden. This thing. Yeah, there you go. I think you can. I remember. I climbed up it. There you go. That you can get a better view of your house now, and also. I just. Go a bit further up and look over there. You see that thing? It's like a like a laser. Again, like like you were saying, Holtz, honey, I shrunk the kids. I think that's kind of how you got shrunk. I don't know whether they maybe they must develop the story. I assumed when I played the demo that there was a section before, like a cutscene or something, that told you how uh, how the story came about. But there wasn't, at least not when I just started playing there. So uh, I'll be go on the old rake. Hey Dave, how are you, my friend? So this is to say, this is not only a first play on what I think is a cracking game, but it's also first trial of my new broadband playing at 4K. Right, this is where we fall off and die. Let's do this very carefully. But look at these graphics, aren't they great? Ain't they great? There we get a bit of a view of the garden up here, look. So there's a shed. Of course, <laughs> you know, it's a view of the garden, which is like a tiny little garden, but it's going to take you days to walk across it at this size. So you've been shrunk. You're the size of an ant. All right, can I get across there if I jump? Or is it going to... Oh, I remember now there were spiders here. Look away, Kelly. I think they come out. Uh, what have we got here? Aphids. Oh, no, there's baby spiders. No, run. No. Run away, run away. What's that thing? Oh, no, mate. <laughs> no. Is the spider still coming? Oh no. oh, no, there he is. There's that baby spider. Get out of it. You can block attacks while you hold a weapon, while you have a weapon of time to. No, I'm a... I... I seem to remember when I played this the first time around, his mother came after me. And that wasn't good. She was a huge, ma huge, massive spider. Oh, God, mate, have some of that warm baby spider. Right, then watch what happens next. Do you think baby spiders scream? Because I do remember a bigger spider coming out after me. And, uh... No, no. It looks like we avoided the bigger spider. I think we'll stay away from that area for a bit and uh, just explore down here. So you kind of pick stuff up, F plant fibers, rocks, rocks, all that kind of malarkey. And then 
you solve puzzles as well. <laughs> Look at him getting... He's eating... The David's eating away on the... Looks like it's my broadband cable. <laughs> Mate, don't do that. Go on. Lawn might we'll have some of him. So look, it says new crafting ideas, an arrow and a mite hat. I'm up for a mite hat. It's getting dark in here. Oh, I don't like it in the dark. Craft and equip a torch. Right, okay. So we need to go and find bits and pieces for that. Okay. Oh, actually, they're not very, they're not very friendly. We get rid of them. If it's one thing we're going to do, it's going to rid our rid our garden of mites. Oh, I need to find water by the looks. Tutorial, find and eat some food. So let's have a look on tab. And, uh, oh, look at that. Project Storm's also playing grounded. <laughs> I got there first. <laughs> right, so uh, there's the old bandage. Oh, hello, while well, I'm there. What? What do you mean? Oh, no, he was smited by a mite. <laughs> well, there you go. Lesson number one. Going to your menu does not pause the game. So you can change your character or you can uh, load another one. You can super quit, which I guess takes you back to the desktop. You can respawn. So, oh, look. What's this? I don't remember seeing this. This looks like where four people have to go be fed some form of a liquid for some purpose, of which I know not. Uh, you can block attacks while you have a weapon equipped. Yeah, no worries, thank you. So, this that must be the start point then. That I just don't remember seeing that before. Probably didn't look behind me. Look, my backpack's 42 centimetres away. That's miles. <laughs> I've got to go and pick it up again. Guys, it's looking and sounding okay. Just give us a little thumbs up if it is. That'd be much appreciated. I'm not seeing any redness, which is always good. So you can cut grass, but I haven't got the I haven't got a chopping tool yet, so I can't be doing things like that. Now then, where was that backpack? Um, wow, look at the size of that chunky chubs league approved baseball. It's the size of my dang house. Where? Where's a chunky chubs size make league baseball? What are you talking about? So, oh, there it is. Let's <laughs> see what he's saying. Yes, it is the size of a house. Uh, but you know, I've got to get, I've got to get my uh, hello, little fella. I'm sorry about your baseball, dude, but I've got to get my backpack. It's where I store stuff. Now, if you run as an ant, he's all right. Ants are okay. I found this out. Um, if you run, it obviously consumes water and stuff. I wonder if I can just take a sip of this really hideous water. Oh. Not very good. Oh. Smite the mite. There he goes. Yeah, I'm guessing that hideous brown water is like a backup. Thanks, Daz, mate. Appreciate that, buddy. Yeah, I'm assuming that's a backup. You don't kind of don't want to drink it if you can get away with it. Oh, yeah, this is where I died, wasn't it? So... So where's my backpack? Wait, was it you that did it? You little orange monkey, you. Where is it? Uh, well, there's a mushroom there. That's pretty cool. But before I get the mushroom, where's my... Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Rockster's bag. Cool. So, oh, hang on. I don't want to be in this, do I? I got killed it last time. Yeah, they... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! I didn't learn my lesson well, did I? Pete was smited by a mite. Okay, back we go. Let's get that backpack again. All of us didn't no, I haven't got it on. What's V? V is your hot pouch. Mmm, matron. I uh, haven't had a hot pouch on for years. So here, you, I guess you put, yeah, like, weapons, torch, that kind of malarkey. Fair point. Dee 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 dee. I, I tell you what I love about this game, and I, I mean, we haven't really seen much of it so far, but when I did the demo, when I played the demo, the thing I love is, is that you come across stuff. Oh, look at them. It's a, it's a little ant train. Bless them. Off they go. All right, champs, can I join you? Do you mind? I just kind of follow along with you, because you're so cool. Yay, they'd protect me as well. I think they did, you know. I think last time they came to protect me. 
I think you can train an ant. Imagine that, having your own little pet ant. Um, but it was the fact that you just came across stuff, which you thought, oh, what's this? And then you realised it was something, you know, like a box of matches, but it was, it was just like a house. Where, oh, where is the backpack that I lost? There it is. Oh, cripes, I walked. Ah, oh, it's my fault for chasing, trying to keep up with the ant train. So, <clears throat> see, like these little things, obviously it's an old dead leaf. That's going to form a cracking shelter when it starts to rain, and you know it will. Right, let's pick up a pebble, pebblet, and whatever else. Let's get me backpack. Backpack, backpack. Swipe and also two backpacks. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, I would suggest that's a bug. Uh, let's take all. Oh, unless it's somebody else's. No, I'm taking it all. I'm having a lot. So, in other words, I must have three backpacks on. <laughs> so every time I regenerate, respawn, it, it spawns me with with a new backpack. Ah, look, there's the, it's the cable for this for this thing. So that's a good way to. Uh, so you don't actually need to go back and get your backpack if you don't want to, but you can then retrieve stuff. Yes, of course. Um, the the Guinness. Thank you for bringing that up. I meant to say, of course, big old uh, big community blog, Stadia blog, uh, released today. Uh, the four new four pro games, which look absolutely amazing. So we've got, um, I've forgotten what they're called already, but they're all good. And of course, the big thing which you're talking about and saying you've you've struggled with is is 4G and 5G. They have, in fairness, said it's an experimental feature. So, oh, what's that? That was where I started. <laughs> so, um, you know, you are going to find that it's going to be well, that is a chubby chubs thing, ball thing. Um, that it is going to have. Uh, it's not going to work for everybody. I know because I, I didn't hack it, but I found a way to get the network working. Um, that you really got to have a really good, strong 4G stroke 5G to get anything worth playing with from the past. I haven't tried it yet, though. I will do. No. Right, Rock. Come on, mate. I see. I want to kind of go and have a look in my backpack and see what I can craft, but every time I've done that so far, I've, I've been... I've been mugged. Let's crouch down. Can I crouch? Permanently? Please? Okay. Let's have a look in the backpack now. So, what can we craft? Can I craft a bandage yet? Not, not that I really want to craft a bandage. I want to craft a torch. Can I craft a torch? A sprig of this. I'll need some woven. I need two times woven fibre and three times dry grass chunk. What the heck that is. And then we've got arrows as well. So that would be like um, our little weapons. Peblet spears, that'd be pretty cool. I can actually make one of those, but then if I do that, am I going to lose... Okay, I've got nine sprigs, so I can afford to lose a couple of those. Mm. Sap, I don't need sap for this. Okay, cool. Well, let's make a... Let's make one of these. One of these things. A peblet spear. So I can throw it from a distance. And then we'll come back and do a torch. We've got to find those bits and pieces. Uh, requires workbench as well. Oh, look, we can put on a hat. Dee, 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 dee. I'll need a grub hide for that. So we can, we could have some food. We could have, um, what could we have here? Wow, look at all this stuff. Roasting spit. Oh, that's to make a roasting spit. Can't we just eat raw grub snacks? No, clearly there's more to be found. So out we go. Managed to avoid being eaten or smited loads of mushrooms though you can only imagine what's going to happen once we take take to the mushrooms <clears throat> i've got a feeling that's where we started in there should we go exploring oh uh, we've got to get some of that stuff i can't think what it was we don't want any more sprigs we've got no problem with sprigs um we don't need grass That was where we had a drink and almost died. 
So where do we find this stuff? I'm guessing as well as you kind of move around, maybe there's a map or something that you can, because you're not going to get a map to begin with. Data. The scab. <laughs> the scab is a cutting edge biomonitoring scanner bracelet system and a familiar wristwatch form factor. <clears throat> the device appears to also send and receive FM stereo signals. I'm guessing that's more for when you're... Oh, that shows our health and stuff, doesn't it? There's tutorials. Don't want them yet. Uh, not sure what this is. Scab flavor scheme, so you can change how it looks, I guess. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Let's go with the night one. That looks pretty nice. Pretty smart. So that would be day mode. Uh, I suppose we ought to keep it for night mode, don't we? Don't want to uh, lure things our way if it's too bright. Let's see what that looks like then. I don't know, it looks the same to me. Oh, I see, it's the whole thing. Right, okay, cool. Um, so, try and move on, because not everything's muddy and grassy. Here we go, look, here's a thing. Here's a new thing that we've yet to discover. Look at the size of that thing. It's probably the size of a... A bathroom scale? Pete, get over it, mate. Everything's going to be big. You can't go around saying, look at the size of that thing for everything. I should construct some shelter and get some sleep. Right, so we're going to construct a shelter in here. Um, build a lean-to, find and eat some food, pick and eat a mushroom. Uh, you unlocked a recipe to build a lean-to. Looks pretty safe, doesn't it? I mean, you know, as long as there's no electricity. So, let me have a little think. Let's go to tabs. Let's go to craft. Uh, tools. What was it we were after a lean to? Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, clover leaves. So we need to find some of them. Some of those missing ingredients before we can build a lean to. But it's going to get dark soon. I know it. Um. So, looking for clover leaf don't want to go back in there oh no I got stuck okay uh, big mushroom big mushroom oh, it's actually a little mushroom um, do you look like a no clover leaf no no got loads of sprigs oh look a droplet of water don't even yes. need to boil it. Oh yeah. That was pretty good. Don't even need to boil it. Um so it's us, us going around in a circle again. Head in this direction. Oh Pete seems pretty chilled, doesn't he? <laughs> when I chose him, he looked like uh, he looked scared out of his wits. He looked scared just being chosen. Right, darker area. Uh, clover. Oh, I need a tool for it. Unless there's any that have dropped on the floor. I need. I need a clover. Right. I'm done. That's it. Then I've got to construct. I've got to construct. A thing to cut my thing. That's annoying. Um, it's not showing in my recipes. Requires a chopping tool. Rats. Right, okay. I wonder if I just I wonder if a little peblet would allow me to do that. Um, let's have a look here. Did that let me chop? No, it's looking pretty red. It's not looking like it's feasible. It's wobbling about though. It's doing the full-on physics thing. Huh? Come on Pete, you're boring the audience mate, they're leaving. <laughs> I've had enough of your plant fibre escapades. Get and find yourself a chopping tool. People like to see stuff chopping. <laughs> Hurry up and get chopping, chappy. 
Uh, I don't know. I need a recipe for chopping. I wonder if I just like kill a random insect. Sorry, mate. I don't. I, I'm sorry, Mr. Weevil, but it's it's not that I've got anything against you or your family. It's just that I'm I'm needing resources, and I just kind of have a feeling I need to get something like that armor on your back. <laughs> you know, just to kind of allow me to chop stuff. Look. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Mr. Weevil. Good boy. Uh, does that help at all in the... Uh... We can have a stuffed Weevil. No. No. No good. Mm. So, we're still in need of a device for chopping. What about actually in our future home here? Was there anything hidden away inside that I hadn't spotted? Let's have a look. What's that red thing? What are you? Aphid honeydew. That is some liquid and nutrition, I'm guessing. What does it say? Uh, a sweet secretion from aphids that restores a small amount of thirst. Mm. So it's kind of next best thing to water, I guess. Um, right, so headed, head up to that electrical box. Where it is, there it is. Let's get inside there, see if we can find something to chop. It's getting dark, see that? The light's changing. It's a concern, isn't it? Right. Um, look. It appears to be some level of energy. Well, I'm not seeing anything on the uh, toolage front in here. Hmm. See, there's loads of stuff I can chop up. Oh, okay, what's this? Auto saving. Ice caps mint container. Tic Tac, I believe we're talking here. Yep, a Tic Tacian thing. But, do we use that to get inside it? And if we do get inside it, this is underneath it. So we've got a mint that could, could provide a bit of sugar, a bit of energy. Um, I'm definitely in need of my torch or my um, or cutting tools. It's getting a bit scary dark now. If it was a bit lighter, I could probably at least work my way around this way. Another little pebblet. Put that in my backpack. Um, whoops. Oh, I've gone underneath it again. How am I doing on the old tools for the torch? I still haven't got these things. Dry grass chunk. Okay. Woven fibre. I think the dry... What? I just got hit by a flying thing. It's getting mega dark. The dry grass, we've come across a bit of that stuff, haven't we? On our travail. But, um, fibre. I haven't seen fibre. So here's a leg of one of those shrinky thingy, sh shrinky dinky things. Investigate the mysterious machine. Okay, I'm investigating. It's very mysterious. Is that the moon? It's re reflected in a window or something. Oh, it's, it's proper night time now. We've not got any form of protection. Let me see if I can risk a tutorial um, data. Pouch, interact, crouch, run, jump, throw, attack. 
Oh, I can hear something outside, outside of me little thing. Crafting, well, I was only going to say recipes and stuff. Chopping is a common attack action. Backpack, death, nice. Something's definitely outside. I can hear it. Oh my god, look at it. It's a flipping spider. Oh! Look out, Ladybird, it's coming. Wow, oh, still coming. <laughs> no! Uh oh. What's that? I don't know if it's. if I lost it? Or is it still hunting? Flipping red eyes, man. Scary as anything. See? Oh, look, there's me ant mates. Stick with them. Yeah, I've got, uh, Dave, I've got awful 4G at home as well. I'd need to go right into the centre of town to test it out. But I'm not a big fan of <clears throat> mobile gaming anyway. My eyesight's not great anymore. Um, it's a younger man's game. Oh no, that sounds ominous. I can hear ominosity. Come on game, give us a clue. There's some bare essentials that I need here, and I can't make them. What was the torch again? Uh, craft torch. Oh yeah, the fibre and the grass chunk. But that grass chunk stuff, it said I needed a chopping... a chopping implement. I think. We think. Um, where's me ant friends? Don't leave me, boys. Oh, okay. Here we go. Right, yeah. This little shelter place. Might find something here that we can use. Maybe. It's like a little tiny shelter that someone's left for us. Wonder what this. Wonder what part this plays in the future. So here you can analyze stuff. Not sure what, uh, why, or what just yet, but. Um, Let's analyze that might fuzz. Might fuzz. Oh, you've only got so many charges. Maybe not. Maybe we wait until we know what it is that we uh, need to use it for. Because if there's only three charges, it might be solar powered. That spider was well scary. No, there was nothing in there that we could use. For our implementation. What about on the baseball? He seemed to be really keen on that baseball, didn't he? Can't I just go in and sit by the fire and you know, sneak in a crack in the wall or something. Um, got to go in this direction because it looks friendly. It's a friendly direction. What's that over there, glowing in the distance? Something's glowing in the distance. I'm not going down any dark, scary places. It's not happening. Ain't doing it. No scariness. Um, that looks like a blob of sap. That's useful. A bit more of a blob of sap. No, don't fall down. Oh, hello, mate. Oh, boys. See, they're all right, the old ants. They're... They're, they're quite a friendly bunch. They are. I think they'll look out for us as well if we get into any mortal danger. Um, oh yeah, there it is. A little sap of sapness. Look the ant. He's not having any... He's, 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 look, he's show, he, see, he ignored us. But he's totally not having it with that insect, the other fella. But they're quite happy with us. See, I, but having said that, I don't really want to go down to the old ant's nest in there. Because, you know, I'm in their world then, aren't I? They might tolerate me because they're not really sure what I am. You know, it's like, hmm, we're not, we're not programmed to deal with you. We don't know what you are, so we're just going to ignore you. Whereas, if I go down there, they might go, anything in our territory, we're not having it. Well, that requires a level 2 chopping tool. I don't even have a chopping level 1 chopping tool. But this appears...
appears to be this is interesting isn't it let's um let's take this bridge over and see what happens go over here I see it's a bit more uh, there's, a, there's not so much in the way of greenery here so maybe dead grass that we could yay dry grass chunk right now we've got enough for we still needed uh, might remind ourselves what we needed what was this for anyway oh for the torch so we need one more dry grass and two woven fiber see i knew i just had to wander around right let's find some more of that grass dry grass chunk there, great. Right, we've got three. Let's get some more. I don't know how long the old torch lasts. And now we need that other thing, which I've forgotten already. Wover, weaver, I don't know. Whatever it is, we need it. I'll, I'll know when I see it. But at the moment, this is just all dead grass and stuff. This is like a pretty arid place, isn't it? Which is kind of a bit of a worry, really. Uh oh, toxic! Get out of there, boy! Did you see that? When all green, I think there's like dodgy pesticides or something, or maybe there's like a compost heap or something around there, and uh, we're getting a bit of all that going down. We don't want to be up. So we know that's currently the physical limit, the boundary of our territory. I'm sure it expands. But I don't remember. I don't think we get a map. Oh, yeah. Well, it might be where it says map rock. <laughs> okay. Right. So let's have a little butcher's look. What's that little thing over there? Look, there's a dude. Dude with a Wi-Fi signal. Oh, that's me, that dude. Dude with Wi-Fi signal. So there's the edge of the map. Is that me making the noise? And we can zoom in as well. Or well, well, apparently we are we are zoomed in. No, we can't. I just want to see what that noise was. I'm sure I heard like a meh. What if you get things like cats and mice and stuff, or if it's just all insects? I do believe it's getting a bit lighter, folks. It's that he's been old Peter here's thrown an all nighter. All right, it's down to three people now, Pete. You're not doing much to entertain them, are you? I don't care. I'm enjoying it. Um, so, got one of three sites, one of one field station. So we found our field station. That wasn't difficult. And obviously got to explore all these bits and pieces. I can zoom in with this. That's cool. Ice caps, mint container. That's important. Didn't really establish why, because it got dark. We'll have a look at that in a second. And the baseball, that looks to have some level of importance as well. So we're going to go and investigate that in a second. Uh, see, I think all of this area is opening up. There's all that stuff up there. To be explored. But for now... Pete did alright, he got his grass, so he's, he's looking good. I reckon we should go over and explore there, that general direction. Pete, are you facing the right way? That's some, presumably that little thing is. Oh. What, wonder why that, what happened there? So I used the left, the right cursor, hmm. Just seems to be taking you in between items. Sights. Yeah, just kicks you between stuff. So there's me. There's a site. There's the field station. And we're almost out of water. So we need to sort that out. Yeah. Uh, how do I drink water then? Seven. It's worse than Dad's Brussels sprouts. Yeah, man, but you know, needs must, dude. Have a mushroom. There you go. Get your sustenance up. Let's come find some water for you. Now it's all dry and arid around here, Pete. So you really don't want to be 
looking for water in this part of the, f I was about to say the forest, the garden. But look out for sap and little droplets of water. Right, that's it's down this way. Which way am I headed? Not quite sure whether that kind of Wi-Fi signal is the direction that he's going in. Let me just turn that way. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. So that gives us a gives us a rough idea. What he can't do is go here. But it looks like he's alright going in this direction. Um, as long as we can find some water or whatever it is that we need as a chopping tool, which we've not found yet anything at all to use as a chopping tool. What? Pebbles we don't need, we've got enough of them to last forever. Uh, let's have a quick look, see if we're going in the right direction and sort of headed up into a new area, which is a bit scary. Okay, back into vegetation, good for cover, and occasionally sap and droplets of water. Like, can I go over here? Should I go over here? Yep, that's fine. But it does look pretty nasty here. I mean, there's nothing... It's arid as heck, isn't it? I'm literally almost out of water here, look. Oh, cripes, that's the size of that thing. Get out of it, mate. Bleeding stink. Oh, nice. Wow. Well, the, we're on red here. I can see this not is not going to end well. Okay, I think if we climb up here, if we can climb up here. Sap. That'll give us some sustenance. Didn't know, did it? Um, stink bug, he's, he's alright. He's a distant memory. Uh. Hmm. So, first, first things first, have to find some water. Have to. I don't know how long it'll go before it starts to croak. Hello? What's that? That's close. Um, I imagine... Oh no, he's not happy. First alarm. Okay. Hello, little fella. Just drink it, mate. I know it's not nice, but just do it. You've got to get your thirst levels up. I know, I know. It's hideous. So the downside of this hideous water is it makes you really hungry. We've got loads of food, so that's not a problem. And it's given him, it's made him sick <laughs> in a Tamagotchi way. But that's okay, because it's at least got the water up, so... Downside is it takes you out for a second or two. Plus side is it does get your water levels up. So that's cool. We can live with that. There's a thistle. See, you'd think a thistle would have some kind of a sharp edge that you could use as a cutting tool. Sprig. Got no shortage of sprig stuff. So yeah, Clive's on as well at the moment, playing the same game but on Xbox. And then we've got we're gonna compare notes on the Generation X Retro Gaming Club at nine of your English hours. Which should be a good show, actually. We've got some quite fun stuff on there tonight. Uh, 
So where have we gone? Where have we ended up? Oh, well, we've gone fairly high up on the whole map. So I just kind of want to explore the, the boundaries of the map. Day one in the Big Brother Holtz. Hello, mate. No point killing him. We tried that before, do you remember? That looks to me like a hose. A garden watery thing. We're okay for water at the moment, though. We did well there, eating that rubbishy stuff. Drinking the rubbishy stuff, even. Let's do it again. Gross. What? Sport me weevil meat? What the hell? Ah, oh, what's this? Pebbles. Why is it offering me an opportunity to bash them? You can go swimming, I did do that, but I don't I don't think it's a good idea in the dark. I mean let's face it, going swimming in the dark is never a good idea. <laughs> they drive. I've managed to avoid getting killed, mate. It's um oh no, that's not true. I did die at one point. What happened was I kept going into my backpack to have a look at my stuff and uh, I got mullered while I was investigating. But at the moment, I'm trying to build either a torch or a chopping implement. But, uh, oh, come back. Honeydew. Sounds good to me. Let's have some of that. Number seven. Hmm. Worse Number than mum's Brussels sprouts. Worse than his mum's Brussels sprouts. Uh... Still, at least it looks like uh, maybe the sun's coming back up again. We managed to avoid that big old spider. Yeah, I know. It's not nice, mate. Interestingly enough, Clive, if you and I roughly started the same time, I wonder if the night and day cycle was the same for us. If your night time is coinciding with my night time. I would have thought it would do. Oh, hello. There's a lovely drop of water. It's a lovely drop of water. But how do you get there? Other than knocking it down with a pebblet or... I'm sure you can throw them. Um, ah, to throw. Let's try. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh. oh no, I think it dropped into the water. Oh, clay. There's loads of stuff. There's loads of implements. I mean, we haven't got anywhere near the tools we need yet. Yeah, I d <laughs> Yeah, me too. I got the spear. Um... In fact, let's let's use our spear on this poor unsuspecting fritter. Where's he gone? Oh, I don't know. I've changed my mind now. Look at him. He's bless him. He's just minding his own business. Answer your friends, Clive. I remember that from the demo. They look after you. You can stick out with the ants. They're cool. It's just them old big arachnids. They ain't the ones you want to hang out with. And the little tiny mites. They're a bit miserable. Ah. What's that? See, when you see things like that, you, to our, to the untrained midget's eye, nope, shouldn't use that phrase, to the untrained small shrunken individual's eye, this is just a rock. But to a giant individual, it could be that it's crazy paving leading up to a much nicer area of grass and stuff. Look, for a second there I thought I was seeing footprints. Hmm, my crazy paving idea was maybe more crazy than I imagined. Ah, we could crash out on the bench. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely uh, kind of crazy paving type stuff. Well, it's bigger than the pebblets anyway. But I think um, I may be limited. The sun's coming up. Ah, oh, look, the music's changing. We survived a night, folks. Yes, we did. Do you know what happens the first thing in the morning, don't you? Huh? I don't know whether it happens in this game. But them old birds come flying around looking for small critters to eat. I'm absolutely convinced that birds would <laughs> would love Pete. 
I so you can climb up these little broken leaves, right? these are like little oak leaves, aren't they? And get up onto the rocks that way. There you go. I love the, I mean, apart from the perspective, I love the kind of depth of field, the little blurry bits. Oh, look at those little chaps. Hello, boys. The heck are you? All right, brew. Oh, well, I'm very nice. Oh, get out of here. Go and have some of that, you flying hedgehog. What was he? Apart from dead. Didn't see the name. <laughs> oh, this is mate. No, you killed my mother. <laughs> I was being civil. Not my fault, dude. Ah, oh, oh, the sun. Ah, oh, nice. Pete, you survived, my bro. Oh, look at that. Isn't that lovely? Oh. oh, well, we could we could have a little wash in the in the water, couldn't we? We could have a little swim. Should we do that? Should we have a little swim? Yes, there we go. Oh. What's this? Hey, there might be some ingredients down here. There might be one one way to get stuff that you can't get anywhere else. Got all that though. How long have we got under here? Whew. Quick, take a breath. Pete, get some air, mate. Good lad. Hmm. Well, there's definitely no more stuff in there. Gnats, yes. But they don't have any little... It's... Oh, yes, you're right, it says gnat. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, but gnats have little... Don't they have, like, little, you know, proboscis that they uh, suck your blood and stuff? Yes, breakfast of honeydew. Better than starving. Don't mind I if think. I do. Oh look, under construction. Now, I remember that in the demo, and I thought it literally meant that the developers had put that there because it was under construction. I kind of imagine it still is. Oh yeah, interestingly, look, I've come outside the map, <laughs> so it genuinely is under construction. So that's maybe that's a future update. I have no idea. No idea. What I am fairly certain of is, though, that we ought to be over there. We shouldn't be over here. So maybe we need to turn tail. And, uh, I mean, going in there. Come on, Pete. Back you go, my friend. It's lovely in the daytime, isn't it? Look at that. It's me hoose. What's that there? It's just a light. Beautiful graphics, though. Very nice in 4K. Hope you're enjoying the old uh, 4K, folks. I'm bound to have to chop this up. Yeah, it's a weed. Weed! It's one of uh, Clive. Uh oh, poison, poison, turn back, pesticides. Yeah, I've got to get my way back into the garden. Not allowed in there yet. Mate, there's no room for both of us. <laughs> Come back, dude. Oh, listen to him, you poor little weevil. Actually, we need weevil meat. That's one of our major sustenance points. Oh. For now, we'll just have a munch of a mushroom. Worse than my mom's Brussels sprouts. Yeah, but it's good for you, bro. Let's have a look. You can, um, obviously you can can't, uh, cook meat and stuff, but it's a little peat. Side effects. Consume, manage. It's, uh, a pebble un un analyzed. I'm not sure what the analyze does. I'm wondering if I don't know if you've ever, if you've ever played No Man's Sky. You have to kind of analyze everything, and it's part and parcel of the your sort of XP. You know, the more you analyze, hello box, the higher your XP. Maybe maybe that's what has to happen here. 
what the heck is that? Oh, it's an old cassette. <laughs> it's an old C60. Not particularly well rendered, methinks. Um, I'm assuming that's what it is. What do you reckon, Clive? Looks C60-ish. But, but maybe like a stylized, you know, like where you keep your cassettes or something. I don't know. But it certainly looks like a, a cassette of some description. Well, it provides me with nothing, not even a reflection of my own self. Sorry. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Shrink. Get under it. No. No. Proves no purpose. It's just some kind of a slide or something, I guess. Now then. Let's have a quick butchers, make sure we're heading in the other direction now. Map. Nope, heading in the wrong direction to get to our stuff that we need to properly explore. Oh, well, there's a little stink weevil. Alright, mate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there was a, a giant baseball. Which, according to the map, has some relevance. There is baseball. No, man, I'm streaming a PC game. I, uh, Clive uh, streamed the, the Xbox version there. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I do have a... I, I, look, full disclosure, I've got one of just about everything, apart from a Switch. Um, but my Xbox is with my daughter in her bedroom, so she plays Sims and GTA on it. Uh, and uh, I'm no problem with any of them. I like them all. It's the games, mate. That's the important thing. What the games are on them. That's the only reason I've got one of each. Now then, how's this looking? Heading in that kind of direction. No, not that way. Perfect. Right, this is Le Direction. And there's the rake handle we climbed up. The problem with climbing up the rake handle, folks, is if you drop off, you land in the area where the spiders are. And that's not very nice. Okay. So there's the baseball. I don't know why, but he made a comment about it. He did. He definitely commented on the baseball. Um so let's there is a there is a blade of grass or something that lets you climb to the top of it, but I didn't see anything when I got up there that Yeah um, obviously there's stitching, there's leather. There's also roots over there. So whether or not um, there's something to do with that, stitching stroke leather. Let's have a look, let's climb up and see what happens. Mm, mushroom! Another mushroom left in my backpack. Sap, how's he doing at the moment? So uh, maybe a bit of grub. Jump down, Pete. Oh, it's worse than Dad's Brussels sprouts. Oh, why is it Dad's Brussels sprouts? Another one of those. No. Um. <laughs> I'm determined. I'm gonna keep going. I'm just gonna give it another go. See if that was just my rubbish character control, or whether he can sort of bounce up. Get up! Go on! Get on! Get on! Get on! Get on. Right. Okay. So we're now on top of the baseball. The Stitching is just part of the texture of the graphic, so definitely nothing there. I mean, yeah, oh, okay, so we get to see... Because one of the things we have to do is investigate the mysterious machine. This, I believe, being a mysterious machine. And there's another one. And there's a third one somewhere as well. There, in the distance. Um... But we can't really investigate it much on baseball. So, okay, baseball, no value. Just a point of reference on the map, I guess. By the looks. 
Let's change the look of his device. I want to change it to classic. Okay. I think that's how it works. Yeah. So go to the map. Nah. Let's change it to a lighter one. Contrast. Nah, it's too dark then. LCD. That was the one I had. What about night? Yeah, let's go with that. So, nothing on the baseball worth anything at all other than it being a point of reference. Don't understand why. Look at the ant taking it out of the mushroom. Stop it. What's wrong with you? Do, 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 do. There's got to be a reason for this baseball. Puzzle. They wouldn't just put a great big graphic, great big graphical device. Hello. Ooh. And then say, and then he physically said, oh, look at that, it's a Chubby Chops baseball or whatever. Um, and it's on the map, so... There's other stuff, like that cassette, that's not on the map. So it has to have a relevance. But not necessarily at this point in the game. But there's our little friend, the ant. There's us on the... On the... So it's possible that we could keep climbing, but... I... How far up can you go? Much higher. On a blade of grass. Hmm? Okay, it will leave our blade of grass for what it's worth. And so we need still need that thing to make a torch for the for the night time. We still need something to cut. Alright mate. Yeah, he's alright. Answer your friend. Uh, we still need something to cut stuff with. Oh, this is all pretty nasty looking grass, isn't it? This has been this has been neglected over the years. There's a little green aphid dude. Where are we headed? We're headed in the wrong direction. Yep, that'll do it. Okay. Um. Ant! Yes. You don't have to know where I can find some stuff to make stuff. Follow me. Thanks, Adam. Did you hear it? He said you can hear him, that. Oh no, he's got stuck in the mud. Calm, bro. It's all good. It's all good. We're friends. I'm not attacking you. Oh, I thought it was a leaf. I thought it was... Oh no, he's just brought us back to the ball. Oh, useful. So, what's that? Oh, half an hour, eight o'clock. Cloudy, which is, uh, as you know, Duncan and Kelly. They are, um, they're going to be playing uh, zombies. Krampus! Hello, my friend. How are you? So let's analyse something out of interest then. Uh, let's analyse this sap. And get three ana analyses. New recipes deciphered. Ah! Workbench, plant lamp and sconce. The heck is a sconce? So I can do, what's that, spider silk. I did not have any of that. Let's give that some analysis. So this is going to open up. Lee! This is going to, oh, baseball hoop. That was pretty darn useless. This is going to open up new recipes, and we need a new recipe for something to chop. Let's go with the rock. The rock. The pebblet. Pebblet axe. Yes! Brilliant. That's a recipe we need. Great. So let's have a look. So that's what that's for. Brilliant. So now we've got recipes. We need that chopping thing. 
we still need those woven fibers but at least we're on the right track now we can find that fiber because we also need that for the torch and look we've got everything we need for the torch except for that woven fiber and now we need so that's all we have to find and we've got ourselves an axe and we've got ourselves a torch <coughs> excuse me brilliant right somewhere missing uh wove, what was it woven fiber did it say so that's clothing then woven fiber so somewhere what about the tic tac mint box thing somewhere that's that one there is clearly some bit, bit of old discarded clothing or something what bro yeah, you can. No, you don't. Don't let him intimidate you. Look at his tiny. That's how we deal with him. Oh, he's eating a gnat's corpse. Oh, new crafting ideas. Sprig bow. I'm going to leave the bow for now because we need to get our fundamentals sorted first. A torch for the night time and a chopping device for getting more materials for stuff. And we need that woven fibre. Hope you're well too, Lee. Hope you very well, mate. Looking forward to Friday. Whatever that old chuckle this Friday. Lee is back, folks. Lee is back on Friday night. I can exclusively reveal. I can't wait. The whole gang. But don't worry, we've not um, we've not dispensed of Kelly. He'll be still Kelly will be joining Duncan as always, and uh, Lee, Daz, and myself. So it'd be great fun. We've got the cams. They'll be making a welcome return. Right, let's find this fiber hierarchy. And uh, 1st of August is obviously the Saturday, isn't it? So it's going to be a bit too, too early for the new games. To try out those new games. I can't remember if there's anything that's multiplayer-y type stuff anyway. I mean, there's co op -y stuff, but... Big old full-on loads of people multiplayer stuff. Are we headed in a direction that is useful? Well, we're headed in a direction that we've never been before. Whether it's useful or not, I don't know. I'm going to, you know, I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like I want to keep going in this direction. Uh, is that a huge looking thing? Um, just in case, because we've not been this way. And it may just be that. What is that noise? Ah, look. Wow, I've never seen what the front of the box looks like before. Lemon crime. Lemon crime punch. Which I'm guessing is a alcoholic beverage. But the question is, if we get inside there, do we find woven fabric? For that is what we are in need of. Well, there's a straw. Drinking straw. Um, okay. So underneath there, maybe. Oh, uh, no, I know I'm clutching. Oh, look, that looks like lemon punch. Um, let's hope it's not alcoholic. He's filled himself right up. Greedy little fellow. Yeah, mate, I'm so looking forward to you coming back on Friday. We're going to have a right love. Get the gang back together again excellent stuff um hmm well that was a disappointment there was no woven fabric to be found woven fibers i should say plant fibers are plenty there were plant fibers are plenty gadgets and gizmos as well five pro games I said four, didn't I? I thought I read four, but I'm not immune from error. Um, right, okay, so the lemon punch thing had lemon punch, so there might be some more slurps of that to be had in the future. Uh, I have to say, I'm very happy with my ball band, Lee. I've been streaming now for an hour and ten minutes. I've haven't swayed or strayed from the green square. Even even YouTube has been happy with me. 
So let me look around while I'm up perched up on here. Oh look, a huge tree. I wonder if I can climb up that huge tree. Um, I've got to build a lean-to and I've got to investigate a mysterious machine. And the mysterious machine was way back there and I've kind of gone off, gone a little bit off map. But also, I'm a bit concerned that the sun looks to be going down. We haven't organized a torch. Till I find fiber. That fiber's got to be around. I mean, it's they're not going to make it super duper difficult to find. Super duper. Super duper. Um, what's that? Ask Lemon Crime Punch. <laughs> so that's where we were just now. So I guess it's just to f sort of set your bearings up. There's this mysterious machine. So let's let's go and let's go and uh, my face heading in the right direction. No. So let's head for the mysterious machine and investigate it because I think once investigated, uh, we can tick that off on the objectives and who knows, it might reward us in some way. Who knows? Yeah. Thanks, my friend. Yeah, it's... um. As you can see, the logo in the top here, Rock 4K Gaming. This is the new thing. Why why stream in anything less than 4K and delicious 4K? <laughs> it's kind of not really a not really much of an advertising slogan, that one, is it? I have to work on that one. Um uh, no, heading in the wrong direction, Monsieur Rock. Okay, in that way. Do 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 So you can collect all these little plants till the cows come home, they're everywhere. And no doubt they're useful, but they're not what we need at this precise moment in time. Look at the map. Walking away this direction. Take a pebblet. What are we looking like here? We've got ten pebblets, one spear, three mushrooms for a bit of grub. Um, where's the mysterious machine? Is this the mysterious machine? I thought I'd already investigated it. Oh, hang on. There's buttons. Push. Ah. What? Unblock the obstructed laser. Find whatever is weakening one of the lasers. So this is, I guess, how we get ourselves back to normal size, maybe? So there's two lasers, one that's kind of not doing much, and one that's doing absolutely nothing. Loads of gnats as well. It's a bit annoying. Um, we've still got to get our lean-to sorted. And we can't do that without our chopping tool. Look, gnats, get out of it. Oh, just as annoying in real life. And let's see, they like, uh, might attract a few moths at night time, that might not. Um, so, that's where we be. And quests. Build shelter. Construct a lean-to so that you can sleep through the night. Now, you hit the target button on the mysterious machine and a trio of lasers shone out from the gigantic mechanical towers around the yard. Some of the lasers seem off, though. If you ever want to get to the bottom of what this mysterious machine does, it looks like you will have to fix them. Unblock the obstructed laser and find whatever is weakening one of the lasers. The, um... Oh, get out of it, Nat. The... Obstructed laser. Yeah, don't they look cool, Lee? I mean, we've got some... I'm feeling very happy at the moment with Stadia, giving us 4G to play with and four or five pro games. That... Is that the Tic Tac box? I have a feeling that that Tic Tac box has something to yield as well. Ah, oh, OK. 
Can I get in? How do I get into the Tic Tac box? Tic Tacs! I need tactics for me Tic Tacs. It's like a little gorilla mint. <clears throat> so that's the end where you enter. Right, mate. Little ant there. It's my mate ant. What are you showing me, bro? Are you saying it's here, are you? Are you telling me? That's where I can get into it? Yeah, but it's not letting me. See, that's the thing. It's not suggesting I can pull it or anything. So the block laser, okay, uh, there's a leaf there, look. However, in order to remove that leaf, I'm guessing, we'd have to chop down that, so leaf, sorry, blade of grass. In order to remove that blade of grass, we have to chop it down. To chop it down, we need a chopping tool. For a chopping tool, we need woven fabric. And we don't have any woven fabric because we can't find any. But we do need it in order to construct ourselves a hovel place of refuge uh, craft yeah woven fabric go to entry oh something's around here what the heck is that what what was it I died <laughs> I was mauled by a wolf spider well bleeding good job we didn't see it I reckon Screw so I'm going to go until about five to eight folks it's now quarter two um, as I said, Duncan and Kelly are streaming at 8, um, so we'll hand over to them at 8 o'clock, and then I'm going to go and get myself ready for Generation X at 9 with my man, Clive, who's also been playing this game today, by the way, but he's been playing it on Xbox. It launched at 6pm, so an hour and three quarters ago. Now, this is the problem, you see. It's dark, and I don't have my torch, because I haven't crafted one so I'm gonna have to fumble my way around I think it's generally in this direction um, not getting much further here mind you I'll be very happy if I suddenly went behind here and found some woven fibers from a torch Yeah, I've got no woven fibres, annoyingly. Pebble axe, torch, sprig bow. Got all that stuff going down. But it's the woven fibre we need. Hang on. I've lost all this stuff. Oh, of course I have. It was in my backpack. And where's my backpack? According to this, about 175 centimetres away, which is no, yep, 165 centimetres in actual fact, which is what, divided by three point something, roughly, gets you inches, doesn't it? Uh, dang, nab it. I genuinely can't see. <laughs> I can't see. I wonder if we can cheat it and up the, um, up the gamma or something. That's pretty cool. Look, auto save intervals. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, what, five is the, the lowest? Yeah, I don't know why you would want to change that, honestly. But, what the heck? Accessibility, arachnophobia safe mode. Yeah, you can turn the spiders off if you want to, which is pretty cool. Thanks, uh, thanks Lee. It's very kind of you, my friend. Um, show spider preview. There he is. When this is higher, spiders look and sound less like. Oh, I see. So, so that is the. Sp so when I turn this, make him look less like a spider. He looks, he looks. Yeah. Okay. Get that. So. Okay. That's quite clever. So you still get the spider. He can still, you know, attack you and stuff, but he looks a lot less like a spider. And you can choose whichever one. That's pretty manky. I think I prefer a real spider to that looking thing. Okay, well, we'll go with it anyway. Uh, large text is pretty large to me already. Uh, Subtitle. I'm just having a little look, folks, if you don't mind. Uh, controllers. I'm okay with the controller. I'm okay with the keyboard. 
Uh, we've got 4K going down, high quality. Um, oh, I know what I was trying to do. I was trying to find uh, if I could change the brightness and stuff. Doesn't look like you can. Gamma, I suppose. Could turn that up a little bit. Let's see if too high. And let's see if that gives us. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, well, it gives us enough to be able to see where we're going for now. That's the key thing. Once we're out of here, we can uh, knock it down, as it were. Plum, it's almost like he's stuck in here, isn't it? Truthfully. What are you doing, boy? I think he is stuck. I'd never have got out there. Whoops. Crouch. That's it. I'd never have found my way out of there. He's literally fallen down the other side. And then it's... It's, um... A dead end. Go on. That's it. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. There you go. Blimey. I tell you what, though. It's safer just to sit here until the sun comes up. Let's get that gamma down again. Wrong one. There we go. Uh, options. And display. Get that down. It was down to about 30-something, wasn't it? Motion blur, field of view, render scale. Let me know it's pitch black again now. Don't think I'm meant to do that so dark. Hmm. Just, for now, we'll, for the purposes of, we'll, we'll take it up to 50 or something. Okay, yeah, there we go. There we go, we can see around the edges now, which is good. Got to get our backpack back, because all of our ingredients are in there. But, it's at night that the spiders come out. So, we've got to be extra vigilant. I'll go and get our backpack. And who's to say that he's not sat waiting for us to return? Well, I'm not to say, that's for sure. I wonder what that was then. It was just the, the lighting. It looked like a creature. I'm very well pleased with them, Lee, I have to say. I think the pro games looks amazing. And I was reading down the list and it was saying, oh, and this is coming in August. I was like, oh, yeah, that's a good game. And then at the end of it, it said, and all of these are pro games. I was like, what? What? I don't remember the last time they said there's a game coming and it wasn't a pro game. They're like giving everything away. Which is good because my subscription renewed yesterday. Well, we're back at the Mysterious Machine, mysteriously, and we know what we have to do with that uh, laser. Whoops. We have to cut the uh, cut the leaf tree down, as it were, but without getting some woven fabric, which I'm convinced. I, I did. I played it for an hour before as a demo, and I'm absolutely convinced I made myself an axe and a torch in that time. So I have no idea. Mate, ants don't attack me. Go and attack somebody else. Um, I'm a, oh, hang on, what's this? Oh, my grass chunk. I'm convinced I came across enough to be able to make those things. And I don't think it was just because it was the demo. Because it doesn't look massively different to me. Oh, look, he's got a little bit of aphid dew for, for his meal. Bless him. Plant fibre, but we want woven fibre. And there's my backpack, at least, so I can pick that up. Get my gear back. Retrieve all. There we go. Just double check I haven't got any. And hope I don't get eaten. Torch. No, see I need two for that. And I need one for my axe. So still got to go and uh, wrap all my grape nuts. There's one man used to say. There's some water over there. That's useful. Grab some of that. It's actually no, it's that lemon drink stuff. But it not only does it give him fluid, I think it also gives him some uh, food energy as well because it's like sugary, sugary. Oh, what does a fiber? What does a woven fiber even look like? Surely it's got to be a like a little piece of cloth. You know, somebody's 
caught their clothing in a bramble or something. Maybe that's a clue. Maybe we've got to go looking for a bramble or thistle or something like that. Maybe that's where we're going to find it. I'm a bit reluctant to walk down here, though, that dark alleyway. There's no police in this world. Oh no, there's some dodgy music. Scary music. We're gonna... See, I, uh, so wolf spiders uh, exist in America, do they? I thought they were just an Australian arachnid. I lived in Australia as a boy. I remember them well. I've been to America a few times, but I don't remember seeing a wolf spider. I certainly remember seeing them in Australia. Oh, nasty little critters. Thanks, Lee. It's very kind of you, my friend. Well, Daz, you see, I don't think they are, and I'll explain to you why. So, what we've got is woven fibre, right? Well, that means man-made. I've picked up, I have picked up some um, plant fibres, but it's very definitely not woven fibre. I think, from playing the demo, I think I'm right in that I came across a... Did you hear that? Plant cloth. I can make a basketball hoop. Uh, I can even make a plant lamp. I can actually make a plant lamp, but that's got to go into my house. Um, art. Stuffed weevil. So I guess it's just stuff that you can collect and build. But what we need to do is... <clears throat> get that woven fiber and the map suggests what was it beep 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 beeping must be another one of these well, there's only one field station in this area a site why oh I see one two three four so I found all four of those sites is what it's essentially saying gotcha so there's not much more to be found there. So we just keep going, I guess. What's that? Is that, oh, is that log that I, is it me or is it getting darker? I thought we'd just, it must be getting lighter. Surely we've been in the dark because when we got eaten by the spider. Can you weave the fiber? Says Krampus. Krampus, I don't know, my friend. It's a bleeding good question though. That's a, that's a really good question. Can you craft from the fibre plant fibre? Can you craft it to woven fibre? I'm on my That was all. That was Perkins, the park keeper. He's saying the park's going to shut in five minutes. <laughs> Get out of me park, you pesky kid. Uh, right, so that's plant fibre. No mention of doing anything with it, though. But then maybe that comes from the workbench. Building a workbench. But there's no, at the moment, that's just a hat that I can make on a workbench. Snacks, art, mill, utilities, workbench. Which needs a grass plank anyway, which I haven't got. Uh, plant fiber. Grass plank. Well, I have got a grass plank. Not enough of them, though. Weed stem. Dry grass chunk. Thistle needle. Clover leaf. Weevil nose. Spoiled meat. Uh, or 
this looks sprig's got a load of stuff going down isn't it a sconce missing ingredients hot craft available I wonder what that means hot craft quartz or quartzite hmm well folks it's coming up to eight o'clock um i'm going to instruct you and urge you no less to pop over to uh cloudy with a chance of games um where our good friends duncan and kelly are about to do some zombie four play along uh, i think they're genuinely inviting anybody to jump in and play with them so why not get over there show them some love tell them i sent you so that they know that uh, i'm spreading it around in the meantime i'm going to close this down um who knows i might pop it up again later I'm quite keen to at least find a way to make my axe. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the show. Thank you for coming along. <coughs> I can add it to air. Uh, I will see you all <coughs> in an hour with Clive. Yes, I will. Take care.